of the camera when uh, YouTube like kind of like black out blacks out the screen a little bit so and I see it's a little crooked okay yeah you probably love my thumbnail it's very crooked <laughs> so I have so much stuff in my garage studio right now there's just like crap all over and so my husband's like I can't get in closer and so he did this weird thing and <laughs> looked at the photo I'm like oh, good enough I was like anybody with OCD is gonna be like you gotta push it up more this way push it more up that way so good morning Kevin all right so I just got done doing a uh, video shoot photo shoot at this cool park in St. Paul wearing this outfit um hello Geeson uh gay gnome gnomes oh I love that okay <laughs> So yeah, that's why I'm a little late. Um, and I will change into the other boots because one of my Patreon members is like, Kat, you need to wear this, this shirt where it's popped collars. So real quick. Oh, did I just kick you? I did, I'm so sorry. I'm so mean this morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. And oh my goodness, look at my hair, I love it. So I didn't really get to see this. I, have, I had no idea what the back of my head looked like until um, I did a video and I had to make sure, oh my goodness, and oh, I should tell you. So <laughs> I promised a video. So I, I brought my camera. I made sure that the uh, SD card was in the camera and we went to the location, I took out the camera, got all ready, found the perfect spot after driving around <laughs> for 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, St. Paul is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. And then realized no battery was in the camera. And I'm just like, I really need an assistant. Oh my goodness. So did the shoot. And um, I, will, I will warn the photos. I'm not smiling in too much because the cameraman was driving me crazy. Because I guess there were some people or one person washing themselves in the fountain. I didn't really see it. Um, and I'm more of a live and let live type of person. So I don't care what people do. It's not affecting me. I don't care. And so <laughs> he was getting me grouchy because <laughs> he was focusing on everybody else. And I'm just like, I'm here. It's me right here. Shoot me. Don't, don't worry about these other people. Who cares? And I guess people were watching me and whatever, but <laughs> wait till you see the video. Patreon members only, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I had fun with a lamppost. <laughs> anyway let me show you my outfit before I go any further I will move uh, my headrest so I'm so excited I've had this barber chair for I don't know how many years goodness at least 10 years if not longer oh my goodness I can't remember um, yeah anyway <laughs> and it's never had a headrest because finding a headrest for a Cohen Cohen barber chair is nearly impossible so I, I had actually bought things to make my own headrest. And then one day I'm like, you know what? I have so many projects that I'm working on. <laughs> so many. I'm like, I should just buy one. And so I was like, I'll buy an off brand. I'll make it work. And so I found a place that sold replacement headrests. So I bought this one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This one I think is Lincoln. Everything's on my hair cutting fun blog. Um, bought this one and then I bought this one. And I'm like, okay, I should probably buy a mount, a latch mount, just in case um, mine doesn't work. And mine was kind of funny um, in the back. Anyway, <laughs> I'm telling you everything else. I'm talkative this morning. Um, yeah, so uh, these didn't fit with the old one. Remove the old one, lots of hair came out. Oh my goodness, it was stuffed with hair. And I uh, found out the reason my, my old latch thing didn't work is because the spring got loosened and moved um, and decided to try to run away from all the hair because all the hair was just pushing on it. Um, fix that, and oh, that's on eBay now. And um, for those who want to repair theirs. <laughs> In case theirs is like really, really rusted through. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, anyway, let me show you my outfit. I swear, I'll show it to you. Okay. So, this is my outfit. 
And then of course, oops, see if I can, there we go. <laughs> see if I can do this without falling. Oh, I can, yay. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> my heel, my, my boot is stuck in the, one second. Like okay. Yay, I survived that one. Okay, so I will read comments and then, yeah, I don't have anything really planned because uh, last time uh, y'all were talkative, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try to read through comments this time. And yeah, oh yes, just in case. <laughs> For those who like the pop collars, of course. All right, but of course, more photos and videos are coming to my Patreon page. I'm moving you closer to me, ooh. All right, so looking at the chat. So let's see, who, where did I leave off? Good morning, Michael Jordan. Beautiful outfit, can you wear a tie? No, not today. Uh, it is all about popped collars. Mm. Let's see. But don't worry, there's plenty of uh, shirt and tie stuff over on my Patreon. Um, I saw a set just dropped, really delicious set. Um, on my Patreon. So I think the rest of this month is just a dollar for photos. Really good deal. Next month, I think I will be pricing it, I think I'm moving it to $5 a month for photos, just because I'm gonna start trying to work with other photographers and that's not cheap. So um, yeah, <laughs> and it's a whole lot of content, a lot of photos for, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, good morning, Jim. Let's see. Felix Meyer says, can you please a kittle draw up? Okay, so I'm guessing that's a cape. I don't have my capes out here with me. Yeah, oh wait, yeah, I have one. <laughs> no, I have my shampoo capes. So, let's see. Kevin says, that, that looks really cool. Uh, the his haircut dual styles really suits you. Thank you. Can you... So Michael's asking me this, can you tie a tie? Show open top button if you don't mind. I have no ties out here, sorry. Uh, my sissy, Mark in KC says, hi, hi. Uh, you asked me a question and I have to get back to you. I don't remember <laughs> what it was. Oh, the number of PV PVC capes I have. I have to look at that yet. And I have to update my Hair Cutting Fun Facebook page because I have, um an album that has all of my capes in it. And so I have to add a few more capes so that way y'all know what capes I have. All right, warp factor, ooh, I like that. Uh, hello, Kat, nice to see you. Did you see my Patreon answer? Uh, no, I don't know what, uh, I don't recognize, I'm sure you have a different YouTube. Um, I don't know what you're, what you're asking. <laughs> I will get to all the Patreon messages today. Um, this week has been crazy busy, um, just doing other things. And then um, I'm actually helping my son paint his room. And so I have to go visit him uh, later today. And um, yeah, I had to help him finish painting his room. <laughs> I was showing him how to have nice, sharp, crisp lines. So, and I'll tell you how to do that just in case you're curious. So after you paint, whatever you're painting and you're painting like with more than one color, uh, then you'd put down um, your, uh, your tape, um, but let, let the paint, make sure the paint's really hard. So wait a week <laughs> and then put the, the tape down, you know, do your lines um, with your tape and then um, take um, a, like a paintbrush, like a little tiny paintbrush and you're gonna, do a um, and dip it in paint and do a really um, thin line of paint, light coating over the tape edge because that will seal in whatever color is that you want it to be. Like if your wall is blue and you want to do like a cool design in white, um, before you do that, then of course you put down your, your tape. I'm using the delicate one um, just to make sure that it, when I pull the tape up, the, the paint I've already painted on the wall <laughs> stays. 
And then you, you dip your little brush in there and do a, a nice little coat over the, the paint line in the wall. And so if it's a blue wall and you want it to be white, then you paint to blue so it stays nice and blue because what happens, which ooh, annoys me, is when you finish painting something beautiful and then you put the tape down and then you're like, oh, I'll just paint it the white, you know, the, the design. And then you pull the tape off later and the white has bled through the tape. That drives me crazy. So I was showing him that technique, which I gotta finish today. Okay, now that I've bored all of you and most of you left. <laughs> all right, let's go back to comments. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. And it's warm in here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sweating already. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin says, here's say, how could he possibly focus on anything but you while you're there? Oh, he's probably bored of me too. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's, um, yeah, he, he's, he's interesting. Okay, I don't know how much more I can, I, yeah, we'll just stop it there. Okay, so King of France, hi. Uh, Mark, he says, if you're not a Patreon member, you need to join. Kat has great content and is a wonderful provider. I do get to pay so much. Yes, and I have to think bump yours up to 100. Not everybody else pays 100, just my sissy Mark. So, because, <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't have restrictions on YouTube. Oh, I could say so much, but I can't. Dang it. Anyway, so I can just, I can say more things on, on my Patreon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, ooh, Charles Hirsch says, good morning to my favorite cat, Surf. He's currently locked up. Ooh la la. That sounds wonderful. Kevin says, damn, sexy boots with those jeans. Thank you. Warp Factor says, super hot outfit cat. And Kevin says, love the casual dominatrix look. Hopefully I can use that word. I probably should have fixed that. <laughs> I guess I'll find out after this YouTube live is over. All right, so let's see. Warp Factor, uh, leather boots over jeans. That's great. Yes, oh my goodness. It takes me 20 minutes to get in these things with jeans because they're not made for jeans. They're made more for like bare skin or nylons. So it was interesting getting in these. Okay. And let's see, Stretch Homestyle says, so happy today's theme is popped collars, says Tim. Yes, glad you like that. It's been a while since I've done that. And Pete Tork, um, yeah, I'm not sure what language that is. Var Benji. I'm sorry, I don't know that language. Mr. Pepper says, are you going to model shampoo capes? Uh, not this one, I can do it the next one though. Let's see. Stretch Homestyle says, hairstyle is awesome cat. Glad a tie free day with colors only. <laughs> yes, I do whatever my Patreon members ask me to. So thus, I got a request for doing a photo and videos of pop colors. And yes, there's uh, different camera angles so that the um, top shooting up from the bottom and then sides, uh, it's gonna be cool. Let's see. <laughs> Marcel's like, your Fitbit is getting more and more dirty every week. Yes, it is. Um, and I've been scraping paint off. So I keep, you should have seen the face. It was nearly covered with paint. And so I've been scratching it off. My poor, poor Fitbit. Oh, so dirty. All right, Kevin says, are you gonna start growing out your hair now? I actually, okay, so today after YouTube Live, I have some errands to run. And then I've gotta do two more shoots today, video shoots. I received a clippers in the mail. Um, I'm being sponsored to do a video for that. And so I've gotta shoot that video and this, all this is gonna come off. So I, I will say, I love my hair right now. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But I promised the sponsor I would, um, yeah, use their clippers. And it's going to be a couple's theme type of thing because they're like, you have to uh, do a couple's video. <laughs> like, okay. And it's funny because my, hair, my husband just got his hair cut like a couple days ago. And so I'm just like, well, I need something to cut. He's like, just do my nape. I'm like, okay, um, there's some hair <laughs> there. Kevin says, are you allowed to say which 
Clipper brand. Uh, I, I can. I just don't, I don't remember it at the moment. <laughs> and, and I'd like to say this is probably why I don't get a lot of sponsors, but I actually get requests for um, doing sponsors, uh, sponsor videos every day. But I'm not going to do a video on a product I um, am unsure about. So I, I want to make sure that it's number one, it's going to fit the channel, of course. So I'm not going to do any willy nilly stuff because I know a lot of like podcasters will do like Honey and um, Fiends, the Fiends app, Happy Fiends, something like that. I don't pay too much attention <laughs> to it, but it's not really on brand. Um, and I don't want to tell you guys something and then it doesn't work out and it sucks. I don't want to do that. So um, I want to try things out first. Well, or if, yeah, I let you know in the video if it sucks or not. Because, yeah, you need to know. Because if I'm using it, if I'm testing it out and I'm like, well, this kind of sucks, then <laughs> I'll tell you. Just like this one razor I used where it had like a little strip that was like sandy and I'm using it. I'm like, well, why would you have that? It's like you're already exfoliating your skin during a shave. You don't need this. And so, yeah, they never talked to me since then, <laughs> the company. <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth. So, anyway. Uh... Okay, I'll go back to comments. All right, uh, Ravi says, why'd you cut your hair? Um, I wanted to try something different because I get bored very quickly. I'm a Gemini, so I like change. <laughs> so I will cut it one more time and then, um, or maybe two more times, and then that'll be it. I'm growing it out starting December. Starting December, it's growing out. Uh, Ruben, hi. Who did your last haircut finally? Oh, that was uh, Kelly and Kathy. That video will come out probably next month. I have to finish the one with Carmen in me first. And let's see. Was the haircut done by James William? Uh, no, but we are shooting something next month. Um, yeah. I've been wanting to work with him, like him cut my hair, because I think that'd be fun, but it has never worked out. Our schedules are just way too different. All right, let's see. So, well, let's see. Raviv is, Roy is asking why you chop your hair again. Um, I wanted something different, and will I never grow it out again? No, I'm growing it out starting in December, because uh, next year, if everything is going well with the airlines and travel, um, I'll be flying to England and Scotland. And December, growing my hair out. Uh, let's see. All right, so Mark says, I'm the only Patreon member that she will not take my request. I do not pay enough yet. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. So yes, my, my Mark has to pay more than everybody else. So, and when he asks for something, I'm just like, eh, whatever. If I feel like it, maybe I'll do it. Maybe. All right. Let's see. Uh, Stretch is asking, what is the biggest shirt colors you've ever worn? That's a great question. You'll have to check my Instagram page. I have um, all my photos. I think this is pretty big. I would love some massive collars. And I even contacted a company that sold these really huge collars, but they never got back to me. So I think they went out of business, sadly. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, Kevin says, give your husband a good high and tight. Ooh, I'd love that. He looks so good in military haircuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then his uniform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, all right, fine. My husband's military. Well, former military. And so that one um, military outfit that I wore, the ABUs, um, in my Instagram page, that was his actually. So I wore, I wore his outfit <laughs> while he was away. <laughs> so, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good girl when he was deployed. Okay, let's see. All right, Jerome says, growing out from December until what length? I don't know, we'll see how long my hair gets before it drives me crazy. Cause I know after a certain point, I'm like, I have to cut it. I, I, need, I need to feel this. Cause I love when it feels like velvet. 
And I love like when it's prickly too. Mm, very enjoyable. Alrighty. And then let's see, Kevin's like, would you consider sponsoring Capes by Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, you make some really fantastic capes. Oh my goodness. You could have your own Etsy store or YouTube. Or not YouTube. Well, yeah, you can do YouTube. But um, Etsy or eBay, you let me know if you ever sell your capes. And I will plug the heck out of you because your capes are amazing. You surpass my skills. Well, I mean, anybody can, but <laughs> yours are amazing. Alrighty. Hello, KJT. All right, let me show you the, the headdress. I know I've talked about it. So here's this one. Let me adjust so I can pose in my chair. So, cause that's the fun part, right? Getting something new and then trying it out. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I know what I wanna do. Let's do the full length of this. Okay, let me move you over here so you get a really good view. And you probably see a bunch of, okay. I was gonna say, how much junk do you see in the background? <laughs> Not much. Okay, I think there's that, wonderful. And perfect. So, this is my beautiful barber chair. So here, you can see it's a Cohen maybe from the 70s. So this is the new headrest right here that I got. And the new, um, yeah, mounting latch. So I am right about there. Ooh, I could do it this way. Let's see. We'll see, we'll test. <laughs> Is that the way? There we go. So. Feet on here. <laughs> so this is wonderful. I really like this one because it's very soft. So I was very pleased, but it only came in red. This is wonderful. I love it. So that's this one. So what I will probably do is I am going to probably uh, just cover this either in black PVC or maybe um, black cotton, and then I can put some Velcro and then wash it. I might do that, but yeah, so this is very nice. And let me see, so for me, because I have, of course, I had to test this out. So I'm like, ooh, this is so relaxing. Mm get my face shaved, and that's why I bought these. Okay, so let me show you the other one. Was because I was requested to do more uh, face shaves, like the a la, carte, a la carte video. So I was like, all right, I must get a headrest if I'm gonna be doing more shaving videos, but face shaving videos in the chair. And some massages too. Some folks have asked me to, to do massages, and I know how to do that, so I can do that. All right, so, oh, here, just in case those are wondering. So this is a Lincoln. Um, this is a Lincoln headrest. Um, and then this is the Lincoln um, mount. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them. I bought them. But for those who are looking to upgrade your chair, this is what you could do. Um, yeah, the latch pretty much works. You do have to drill in some extra holes. New holes, I should say, not extra holes. Although you kind of are doing extra holes because... <laughs> The other ones won't work. So, okay, now this one. So this one, it's a little loose in the chair. It's not round, it's, well, flat. So, let's put this in the chair. Yeah. And it's, it's loose in the chair. So, um, yeah, it's very, has lots of play but it matches the chair. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. Look at that. So it's got the same lines, almost like the same thread too. Mm, it looks gorgeous. I love the look of this, but not a fan of the play. But 
that's okay because if I have somebody in my chair, I can just, you know, put their heads back and it'll work because they're not moving. It's not like I'm throwing them all over the place. <laughs> so let's see if you can have a good look there. Maybe right there. All right. So yeah, this will work too. So it's, it's nice and even for those who do not like to have their head up higher or if someone has neck issues, I think maybe this will be a better fit. Not sure. Hmm. Or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> but it's also comfortable. But I just like the extra padding. Mm. But also very comfortable. Yeah, this is gonna work out wonderfully. So glad I finally got the headrests. And yeah, and with this one, I can fold out. But I'm still keeping it. But I'll put this one, because <laughs> this is my favorite. And this one I have to push it in. This, this latch was made for this headrest. But I'm just happy to have anything. Ooh, somebody did a super chat. Thank you, Gray Bog. That's very sweet of you. All right, so I'll read comments really quick. Oh, helps if I use the right, <laughs> the right thingy. Okay. Yes, and I'll switch out my boots too. Okay. So let me check out the chat. So, all right. Again, um, oh, Gray Bog, thank you. Oh, you like my boots. I will put on different ones too. So I will do that in a second. All right, so yes, I have these boots. And maybe what I'll do is push you back. There we go. All right, so I did bring my other boots. So yes, there are these, which... <laughs> I love, but I will switch out. Oh yeah, sorry, they're kind of dirty. I wiped them down before this shoot, but I didn't get all the dirt. It was very muddy where I was at. Okay. Oh, and then for those curious, <laughs> my Spock socks. They work best in those type of boots. All right, so I do have my velvet, crushed velvet, knee-high boots. So I will put these on. There we go. And then I'll show you what these look like. Wow, thank you, Gray Bog. That's very sweet of you. What did you just say? Let's see, I'd like the mug off your boots for you. <laughs> oh yes, you should. Um, they, they do need a really good cleaning, especially the bottom and the heel. Maybe while I'm wearing them to make sure that um, you do a very good job. I probably have to supervise you, don't I? <laughs> Okay, so next one, and these ones too. These ones also need a very good cleaning, don't you think? <laughs> oh, the days I used to have boot worship done. <sighs> Those were fun. Anyway, <laughs> before YouTube kicks me off, <laughs> let's put these ones on. Yeah, I don't really have too much of a filter. I need to work on that. Okay, so these other really nice boots. Perfect for fall. It's 
hard to believe that fall will be here next week already. There we go. Very soft. Love them. <laughs> you can see how dirty they were. I also wear these for the shoot. So, I will have video and photos of me wearing both these boots and this outfit on Patreon next month. All right. So, bring you closer so I can read comments. And then I'll show off this outfit. <laughs> Let's see, Greg Fogg says, can I lick them clean for you? Yes, you should. And you need to do a really good job. I want to see them nice and shiny when you're through. And thank you for the super chat. <laughs> it's very kind of you. All right, let's see. So let me um, try to get through everybody's comment here. And if I miss your comment, I do apologize. Just repost your comment um, once this video has been published. All righty, let's see. KJT says time for good hair wash. <laughs> I will have to shoot a video of that. Uh, Wally Tucker says, hi, looking great. Would love to see you get a tight curly perm. Yes, you and my sissy both want that. Let's see, Jerome says, having a salon barber chair at home is so much fun indeed. <laughs> yes, it is. I have to agree. Stretch Home Style says, I'm thinking of your Jansen shirt. Uh, possibly has the biggest short collars cat. They're massive collars, and you look so good in that. Remember your chipped tooth. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember when I chipped my tooth. Um, that's why it's, yeah, it's a different color. So this is a partial, it's a fake. So yes, um, I'm reminded of this tooth every day. <laughs> so yeah, um, I might have to break it again just so I can get a different tooth color. All right, oh, Greg, or Gray, Greg Bog says, can I make them messy before I clean them? <laughs> oh, the things I could say and how exactly you should make them messy, um, I can't say on YouTube, but hopefully this, um, <laughs> that helps. Um, yes, so there we go, there's that. That's how you should make them messy and then you have to lick them clean. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm scrolling through comments. And yeah, so these collars are pretty big, but I would love to get a shirt with giant collars. I'll probably have to um, have somebody custom make me a shirt. I'll probably do that local. It's just that I would like to have it done soon, but <laughs> I had a lot of um, um, unexpected expenses this month. So I have to kind of wait for things to um, calm down. Let's see. Oh, so Charles, I will be doing some more sissy videos um, in the future. Um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to plan one this month, but I kind of had to put some things on hold. Um, yeah, just had some <laughs> unexpe unexpected expenses, expenses this month. So things kind of have to wait a little bit. So hopefully next month, hopefully. I can get back right on track. All right, so Jerome says, amazing chair indeed. Oh, Jerome, I think you have some amazing chairs too, or chair. Uh, KJT says, nice shampoo chair. Oh, you must have peeked over at that one right there. Yeah, I love that purple one. I won't be changing the color out of, or with that one. I'm gonna leave it purple. And let's see. <laughs> so Greg Boggs says, I would make them so messy, but I'd have to clean them up. Oh, I bet you would. You really would need to. If you make them messy, you would need to clean them, especially if they're my boots. And I like them pristine and shiny. So you would have to work double hard to make sure that they're as clean as I want them to be. And I want them very clean. So you'll be spending a long time with your tongue cleaning them. 
All right, let's see. So <laughs> Charles is asking about my kid. No, my, my kid will never be in a video. And so, sorry. Let's see here. Birdman, hi, I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, let's see, my girlfriend's gonna let me wash her hair tonight. How can I make it fun? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know, just have a playful attitude. And I don't know if she's ticklish or not, but you can always do some like light tickling. Um, you can do it gentle, like barely touching. So if you do something like that, it, it's ticklish and it feels good too. So I'd say, of course, do some, let me put this down. Do some like nice, um, strong like massage and then do like a very gentle, light, slow tickling or just touching like that. Oh, it'll feel really great. And it's kind of, you know, playful. Trimaine says, Kat, I like your outfit. Thank you. Jess R says, where's the tie? <laughs> Next week. Next week, I'll wear a tie. Let's see. All right, so let's see. Uh, KJT says, you look beautiful in this outfit. So you need to wet and shampoo your hair. <laughs> Another time. Maybe I'll shoot a video tonight where I shampoo my hair. Um, I, I will try to do that. Um, but I do have several shoots to do, so I'm not gonna get my hair um, wet just yet. I mean, look at this, look at this. This is just wonderful. Oh, I will need to take a shower tonight anyway because I will be cutting my hair. So all this is gonna go away. All right. Tittles says, um, hi Tittles. Uh, let's see, Charles says, will I ever be in a video? I don't know, I don't really have a studio that um, I can shoot really well in, so it'd have to be a hotel. Uh, so if you come to Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul area, um, yeah, just uh, let me know, we can do a shoot. Let's see, Charles says, it'd be a dream to be like the gender bender one. Okay, so um, yeah, at Carmen's salon, uh, yeah, we have to wait <laughs> on that. Um, yeah, we wait for my finances to be in order first <laughs> because those are, are not cheap to shoot um, because I have to pay for Carmen's time and the use of her shop. Um, so those videos aren't cheap to shoot, um, but that would be fun. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about it maybe uh, let's do November. We'll talk about it in November. Um, and then I can, I'll have to talk to Carmen about it as well. Um, but yeah, we'll talk. Cause I don't know, you gotta have a certain hair length for roller sets. Um, if your hair's not long enough, there's a wig. I think Carmen may still have or not. I'd have to ask her. And you'd have to let me know various things. But talk to me in November about that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so y'all are curious about my son. Uh, let's see, Jerome says, I know your son is still young. Uh, let's see, so he is an adult now. Uh, he has, uh, he's never been in one of my videos. He will never be in one of my videos. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep him private um, just because, yeah. I'll tell you a few things like he's in college because <laughs> I've let that slip before. Um, and then I'm helping him with various things. And then I gave him my car, so I don't have transportation at the moment. Um, but yeah, but I, I, yeah, I won't put him in any of my videos. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he doesn't wanna, <clears throat> he doesn't want to do any acting, anything like that. He did model when he was a little baby, <laughs> but he had no choice in the matter. <laughs> Cause he could, well, he was a baby, so. Um, so yeah, he's been in a few things when he was younger, but uh, the moment he's like, mom, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. And I was like, all right, that's cool. You don't need to model. You don't need to act. You do your own thing. So I fully support him. Yeah. So Jerome says he met him once. Yes. Yep. Um, very few people have met him. Well, I mean, <laughs> in, in this world that I, I am in, um, but yes. So, yep. He's, yeah. 
He's, he's a good kid. Let's see. Tittle says, I love your close-up. I've lost count of all your wrinkles. How many do you have? Too many to count. <laughs> let's see. Charles says, if I paid for it. All right, then let's talk. Um, yeah, so send me an email. I think you have been emailing me. Uh, I haven't checked my email for a long, <clears throat> a long time. Um, and you want to be dolled up. Let's talk over email about it. Uh, Cause I think you have clothes too. Um, and then we can talk about what exactly you want. If you want it just like the gender bender, um, video, we can do that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Charles says, would I go in public and have lunch? Sure, we can do that. Um, and then if you want, um, we have this one club called the Gay 90s. It's a wonderful club and they have uh, drag shows in the evenings. And then we can also go there and show you up. But we can discuss that in the email. Let's see. All right, so I'm scrolling through and yeah, I think I've got through everybody's comments. Yay! <laughs> and if I missed your comment, I apologize. Just repost it um, below. Um, I do have a few more minutes. So if anybody wants to chat about anything else. So, but yeah, yay. So Drum says, it'd be cool to notice how big this special hair salon fans community is with such a wide spectrum of things people like. Yeah, there's a lot of people who like various things. Some people only like haircuts, some only like head shaves, and then there's perms and roller sets, bleachings. Uh, let's see, the highlights and the caps. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. And then uh, incorporate some of the messy stuff. So um, things I can't mention on YouTube. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's, there's many, many facets. Let's see. And let's see. Oh, Tiddles, uh, you want to sing a song. What song have you chosen? Oh my goodness. I'm supposed to sing. Uh, I don't know of a song I could sing. Um, I'd have to probably, th uh, create an original song. Um, so it's not like, uh, copyrighted content. <laughs> So let me think about creating a song. I'll think about it. And Charles says, I'm thinking I want to do a lockable sissy dress. You should definitely do that. I don't know who holds your key. I don't know if you'd want me to hold your key the entire time. Um, we can talk. Birdman says, what is your favorite way to shampoo your hair? Who gives the best shampoo? Oh, that is a great question. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I love it when other people are shampooing my hair. Carmen does a wonderful job. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Um, I had a fan give me a shampoo once. I can't remember his name, but he did an amazing job. <laughs> it felt fantastic. And if you're him, I'm sorry I forgot your name. But you did a wonderful job. And know, you know who you are. Oh, Charles says, but please don't lose the key. We'll see what happens. You know, hopefully I don't forget it somewhere. <laughs> All right, Joan says, I think most agree that in the beginning when they notice their liking, they taught, were taught to be alone with that. At least I was taught so. Yeah, I, I, that's why I love the internet. You can um, find that you're never alone. There's always someone out there who um, has, you know, the same, thoughts, expressions, um, feelings as you about things, which is wonderful. Charles says, maybe we can go to Hooters for lunch. There's a Hooters um, at the Mall of America. I know that. Um, i trying to think where, where else there's a Hooters. I'm not sure. For this area, anyway. I went to one Hooters, what was it, in Florida, and I think I had the clams or the oysters, and they were amazing. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend that up here because Minnesota <laughs> is far away from an ocean. All right, let's see. 
Alrighty. I think that is, I think I've read everybody's comments. Wonderful. And then I'll do this real quick for those who love the popped up look. Get that in one more time. So Mani says, please untuck the shirt. Oh, you don't like the shirt being tucked? Oh, let me guess. The next thing is going to be rolling out my sleeves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the back. I forgot to lock this up. I have dirt all over my barber chair now. All right, let's see. So will you, would you take me there all dolled up? Uh, I'm not a fan of the Mall of America just because it's so busy. Probably somewhere closer. Tittle says, please wiggle your hips. <laughs> I'd have to, I'd, okay, I can do a little dancing in the chair. Very pathetic dancing, I shall say. Let's see, Berman says, besides the shower, where can I shampoo my girl's hair? Girlfriend's hair. Oh, over the kitchen sink. So you can do it over the kitchen sink. That works out well. And the, the sinks are really big, which is fantastic. So if it gets really messy, it's okay. There's plenty of, you know, <laughs> space for the place for the water to go. And if it hits the floor and the floor gets all wet, it's okay because kitchen floors are a little used to being wet. Um, so there you go, there's the kitchen. Um, otherwise, it's still summer-like. Uh, some beaches um, will have an outdoor shower. Although, probably wanna do that when there's no one around. <laughs> Although that would be a lot of fun, you washing your hair out in public like that. Uh, let's see where else. If you want it to be cold and kind of torturous, um, then definitely the outside hose. <laughs> but uh, she probably wouldn't be very happy with that uh, unless she's into that sort of play. And that's up to you and her to decide. Uh, probably ask her beforehand, make sure it's okay, because that's cold water. Unless you have like an outdoor... Um, like a sink, because I know some people have outdoor sinks and they have hot and cold water. Um, yeah, do that too. It could be kind of fun. All right, let's see. All right, so Tittles wants to see me dance in the chair. <laughs> uh, Shara says maybe David's bridal. I have no idea. I've heard of those. I have no idea where they are. I'd have to Google that. And actually, I'd probably make you do that. But definitely shopping would be fine. All right, let's see. Wait, let me move this so you can see me better. So I can dance in the chair. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let me see. There we go. There, there's my dancing in the chair. Although you can't see my hips. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like I'm back at the club, but uh, usually I'm not sitting in a chair at the club. So let's see, Christian Goebel says, good readings from Germany. Uh, oh, no, I was gonna say hola, but that's Spanish. Hello, guten tag. <laughs> Oder guten Abend. Ich weiß nicht, uh, uh, wie spät es ist in Deutschland uh, jetzt. Mani says, oh, thank you. Can, but can you show different ways of rolling sleeves? <laughs> How would I roll my sleeves otherwise with my teeth? I don't know. And I'm not that great with my toes. So I can't use my feet to uh, roll up my sleeves. So... I don't know. 
It is 1800 there, so 6 p.m. there, says Christian. Oh, uh, yeah, so I think, I think it, in England it's probably very close. Okay, so it's, eight, yeah, 1800 in Germany. Oh, did I say 1600? I, oh, I know the 24 hour time and I will sometimes, I forget to add the 12. <laughs> oh my goodness, you'd think after all these years I'd be able to do that correctly at this, at the, like, on the nose, like, um, oh my goodness, what is the word? I should be able to do that immediately. I've been around it all the time. The UK is 1700 now. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining me so late in the evening. Vielen Dank. Du bist ein Schatz. All right. So Charles says, maybe out front of the cameras, wait, maybe put me out front of Carmen's all dialed up. Oh, that is most definite um, because she's on a um, busy road and there's like a little strip. Um, so we can definitely do that. And then where else? Oh, grocery shopping. Could take you grocery shopping. <laughs> or um, I'm sure there's a smaller mall. Let's see, where is that? New Brighton? So I think Roseville Mall is close to that. Let's see, Tittle says, latest news, earthquake in Minneapolis. <laughs> I'm not that heavy. Let's see. Uh, Christian says, the headrest looks very nice. I'm sure the right place for doing my white walls and flat tops, yeah. Let's see, Daniel says, please button up and collar down, cat. Well, considering the YouTube live is nearly over, I can accommodate that request. So here's what this looks like. And Tittle's like, oh yes, you are my darling. <laughs> Just for that, I may sit in your lap when I see you, Tittles. See how you enjoy that. Oh wait, you will. <laughs> all right, so here we are, we're all buttoned up. All nice and professional like. All right, and then a messy roll. I did a messy roll previously. You didn't like it. You're like, no, cat. You gotta, you gotta roll it up all nice and professional. And now you're like being messy. <sighs> there, here we go. All messy. How's that? There, messy. <laughs> there we go. I was gonna bite it and move it, but I was like, I don't want to get my lipstick on here. I like this shirt. All right, Tittle says, please. Of course, darling. <laughs> oh my goodness. You all are so much fun. All right, Christian says, nice. Perfect on adding a tie and gloves. Yes, I have plenty of gloves. I was trying to see if I have my salon gloves out here yet. I do not. Wait, what are those? Huh. Just wait, maybe. I do have something out here. I'm surprised. Because I need to finish this room. So next weekend, I will probably... Uh, maybe I, I won't do a YouTube Live next weekend. Um, just so I can work in here and try to get this finished. I need to add some shelves right over here. Um, let's see if you can see. Yeah, I've got a bunch of crap there. So I need to add shelves um, right by the mirror there. Right, right there. And uh, I can add some of my stuff and then, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Manny says, ooh, I just love you. <laughs> hey, then show it, do a super chat. Show me how much you love me. All right, so gloves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Now, if Tom was here, this would be more for him. 
There you go, Tom. If you're watching this on the replay, this is for you. Maybe, if I can get them on. Wow. Okay, now for the other one. <laughs> Maybe. Oops. Did I put it in the wrong hole? <laughs> That's never a good thing. <laughs> Trust me on that one. why but these are really sticking to me at the moment there we are maybe <laughs> mm, very nice there you go There you go, gloves. Okay, I think with these ones, I don't know if I can touch. Oh, I can. Oh, I can touch and review comments. Okay. Kyle Smith, I just turned onto this. What in the world is in your hair? Wait, wait, wait. I just turned this on. What in the world is in your hair? I thought loud. It is hair gel. Super hold hair gel. Oh, and then of course the blonde. <laughs> don't know when the last time you saw me but there was bleach in it, and so I'm no longer uh, raven-haired. There we are. Yeah, and you missed a bunch of stuff, so you'll have to rewatch this. Let's see, Christian says, really nice gloves, thank you. Now let's fire up those osters, ha ha ha. I have no idea where mine went to. I have to look. I need to take off, yeah, I'll probably take off next weekend and go through some of my stuff because I don't know where a lot of my stuff is. So I'll work in here, try to get this done and then look for all my salon stuff. Manny says, do you do wet shirt if asked on Patreon? Yes, and I actually have at least two videos where I'm fully clothed and take a shower while I'm wearing this shirt, I believe. So there is content on my Patreon. So my Patreon is definitely worth a look at. Let's see, Rick Wa Where? Where, where, where? Um, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, he says, hello. Hi. Ooh, jazz hands. <laughs> sorry, couldn't help myself. Alrighty, let's see, Daniel. Oh my goodness, I haven't heard from you in forever. So Daniel Hudzik, sorry if I butchered that, says check your heart rate. I was going to wear a nurse uniform today with my stethoscope, but I couldn't remember if I've done that before. So people let me know, have I ever done the nurse uniform before? Cause I could bring that, so yes. Regular heartbeat. Let's see. Alrighty, so I have like a minute left. And so if I missed your comment, um, please repost it when the video has been published. All right, so Christian said, it's like Easter and Christmas on one day, finding all your stuff. Ah, great. I'm glad you enjoy. Yeah, so Oh my goodness, for this month of September, there is so much content on my Patreon. So patreon.com slash catsurf. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of content. And then next month, uh, yeah, I'm working on that as well. Um, so I <laughs> shot a lot of cool stuff today. And then, um, yeah, so definitely join. It helps me out, helps me to um, buy all the, the goodies that you all get to see in, in the clothing because some of you all ask for certain things for me to wear. And um, if I'm not, if I don't already own it, I tend to buy it, so that all helps. Um, yeah, so yeah, you're um, 
all of, like basically the reason why I do YouTube lives is because of my Patreon supporters. They help um, <laughs> fund things so that many of like everybody else can see things too. So uh, my Patreon members get m more photos. So like I'll post one photo on Instagram and then they get the rest. And then for videos, um, they get exclusive video and then um, they help fund me doing these YouTube lives. So, which is fantastic. And I love my Patreon members. Mm. And I'll respond to messages today. Let's see. Can I do a wet towel? Wait, wait, wait. Manny asks, can you do a wet white? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to try this one more time. Can you do a wet white shower and rip it off in Patreon? Okay, so I'm guessing you're asking, and maybe I'm reading this wrong. Can I do a wear this shirt in the shower and then rip it off? Uh, no, I'm not ripping off my beautiful shirt because I can't get this anymore. It's my favorite shirt. White shirt, yes. Okay, so we're, I'm not ripping off. I can, I can get a garbage white shirt that's buttoned up. I do have one of those where it's like, I don't care what happens to it. But ripping it off, I rarely do. Um, I can't use any of the words on YouTube. <laughs> I can, oh goodness, how can I put this? Hmm. I don't show my lady bits. I'll do Im implied, but I don't show my lady bits. Oh, I'm like, okay, yeah, things get wet and things can be seen, but I don't show them without the clothing. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't, yeah, I can't even say if I made a lot of money from Patreon, I'd ever do that. I don't know. Those days are past. I'm I'm too old for that stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if people want to see a, a 41-year-old. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of gorgeous 41-year-olds out there. Um, I don't know. I need to work out. I need, not that you care. So, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I have to worry about work. So it's more because of work. I just don't want to get in trouble with work if they, they saw me doing um, the more uh, other stuff. No, definitely not YouTube safe. So, <laughs> but let's see. Christian says, never old to be a great barberette. Yes, one day I want to go finish, or I want to go to cosmetology school. Gotta wait. Tittle says, yes, you're far too old. Oh, honey, look who's talking. <laughs> You easily got like 60 years on me. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. You look great, by the way. Yeah, in your hair, oh my God, Tittles. Okay, so Tittles um, does a lot of roller set videos, so check out his YouTube channel. Uh, do, you remember, I, do you have your videos on YouTube? Um, otherwise, check out his YouTube channel too. He's got a lot of roller sets as well. Um, but yeah, but y'all have really nice hair. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so check them out. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Alias Volume says, do I have a cap cape on hand? Yes, I'll get a cape. I'll do that real quick and then I have to go because that receipt's past my time, but I haven't heard a knock on the door. So I will just grab the closest one I have. Actually, I'm lying. I'm choosing a pink one because it's really pretty. And then I have to get going. I have a lot of things to do today. But I'm having so much fun with you, though. Okay, so. Yeah, and I've been here so long, my lights got burnt out again. I need to fix that. <laughs> Tittle says, 70 years on you, darling. <laughs> oh, I look damn good for 70. I think that's what you're saying. I don't know. All right, here we go. And let's see. Let's see if we can get the full effect. Oh. oh, I love this barber chair. Oh, I missed this barber chair. All right, and then here's what I'll do. I will put this, this, and there we go. Wonderful. Mm. There. I can almost snap out here. 
Yeah, I can't wait to do some fun things in this chair. Jerome says, wow, that cape is amazing. Thank you. Let's see if I can stand up in it. All right, so Tito says, are all those locks on the door to keep you in? Yes, yes they are. <laughs> uh, Jerome says, 80s feeling with that print, perfect for perms, yes. Let's see. Oh, Barbara Claire says, hey. Hi. And let's see. All right, so I think I've got everybody's comment. Wonderful. All right, I have to go. My time is way past, but I had a lot of fun with you. Oh, I love how this looks. The gloves in this cave. Mm. Ooh, here. There you go, your little ASMR, however <laughs> it's said. Anyway, I gotta get going. I have a ton of things to do and more shoots to do. I'm looking forward to it. So have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining. I had a lot of fun with you. Um, enjoy the week and all that else. Oh, stay safe, have fun. Um, next weekend, I will probably take off. Like I said, maybe I'll try to get all this done so I can actually have all my stuff out here. I think that'd be fantastic. So um, whatever I decide, I will post on my Patreon. Um, on my Patreon, there is a, um, a, a public like um, blog type of thing. So the public can um, read it. You don't have to be a member. And so then you can see like all the content everybody gets on my Patreon. And then I'll post uh, public things such as when I'm doing my YouTube lives. Um, so you'll see it all there. And I think that's it. So again, <laughs> thank you so much for joining. You are awesome. Have a fantastic day and week, and I will see you next time.